all right ladies and gentlemen good morning welcome along my name is frank you join me here for another episode of a dairy man's diary i hope you're all doing very well it is around 9 a.m this morning saturday morning uh well we're we're kind of we're not rained off there but it's damp it is damp enough for another really heavy dew overnight so it's uh, gonna delay us from doing anything to start with today so I've just been doing a little bit of servicing on the combine there. Uh, blew a bit of the straw out of the engine bay. Greased up a few points there as well. Uh, so the combine's ready to move. As you can see, we finished this field here. We actually cracked on in. Uh, got this all done the same night that we uh, we were in the field just over there, actually, just yesterday. But we, like I said, yeah, we, we're just not going to get going anytime soon. This straw, I think, is getting quite damp. So what we might have to do at some point today is actually just come in with a rake and roll over. Uh, just let the underside get uh, dried out a little bit there. Get the wind through it a bit. It is quite blustery as you can hear though. So that's good. At least uh, that will kind of help to dry it out a little bit. Hopefully get that bailed soon. But there is a good amount of straw on here. We're doing pretty well from that side of things. I'm happy with that. And I'm hoping that we'll, we'll continue to get a bit more as well as we get back on up the hillside there a little bit. So that's going to be the next area to hit. And we're looking good. Very, very happy with it. Combine singing along, done very well. Uh, we're going to need a little bit of fuel in it once we, when we do move, but we'll, we'll worry about that when the time comes. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're cracking along. Today, though, today we were given a bit of a surprise. Uh, we got a surprise phone call yesterday and uh, by a dealer who, well, you know, I'm probably due a surprise because I've, I've paid a lot of money to him of late. So he has come up with trumps and we're going to, uh, we're going to try and get a job ticked off the list that I've been meaning to do for a while. We have some compost that we uh, kind of, it's rotten old bales and burnt bales from the straw fire that we had, but it's been rotten on the side of the field for a while now. We've also got a bit of muck down there as well. So we're going to look to get that spread today. Uh, we lease the big spreader again uh, from the same fellas that we always do. And instead of putting on to John Deere, we've still got the Kubota for a few more days. I figured why not put the hours onto that instead of onto one of my tractors there. And we'll see how it goes. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, so around the corner we go. We're just going to park the truck up at the yard. Uh, I love the new Hilux, by the way. It's a beautiful machine. Really do like it an awful lot there. I'm trying to get as many hours in as I can. Usually I would have probably just driven over there in the ATV, but you know, I got a new truck. I should really use it. So that's what we're going to do. And as you can see right in front of me, there is our our new toy for the day. There, it's uh, a huge, huge. JCB 435. It's a thing of beauty. Now, I know that they've sent this over as a bit of a demonstration for me, really, and that's all very nice there, but they do know that I've got no money to buy something like this. It's huge and it's far too expensive and big for what I need as well. It's 45 stage 5. This is the 2019 version, uh, so it's a few years old, but look at the size of it. I mean, you really want this if you're a contractor pushing on a lot of pits, which well, clearly we're not, but. Uh, we're going to give it a go anyway. So we're going to move a few things around here. Get everything set up and sorted out. Milking has all been done this morning. Everything's looking good as far as that's concerned. Uh, and yeah, like I say, we've got the 66 on the rake there. Because we are going to need to give that straw a bit of a blast over. Uh, so I think what we'll do. Kubota is set up on the Joskin. Another big spreader here. We lease this in. It costs us about 150 a day to lease it. It's not a lot of money because we have it as part of the uh, part of an initiative from our local uh, grain board. And we actually, because we remember with that grain board, that's where we eventually sell all of our grain to. We're able to get that in a very big discount. So I'm happy with that. Essentially, it's all just another big perk for us becoming a member there. And I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. So this is us. This is going to be us for the day at least. We're going to uh, take this down to the corner of the far field there. And um, we'll get some good nutrients out onto the onto the grass there. Let that work in. Harrow it in maybe if we have to. And then we'll leave it. We're not going to get another cut off that field uh, for some considerable time. So we've got plenty of time to work in. And this stuff has been rotten away for quite a while. So it should be fine. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, the straw, though, like I say, we do want to get that worked over fairly soon because it is starting to look a little bit... Uh, some of it that's been down a little bit longer there looks like it's a little bit wet. So we need to get that worked over, let the wind get through there, and then re reconvene there and see. Uh, put you down. Well, all right then. So in the corner we go. And then we'll have a walk back up the hill, go and grab that Kubota there, get stuck in, in as well there. But we'll probably start with a little bit of the muck, I should imagine. See how we get on with that. And then if we can, we'll try and blend it in a little bit. See what that looks like. But yeah, we'll leave you there for now. Knock you off. 
yes we'll definitely do this field and we'll see whatever's left we might put on the field over the road there but everything is coming up all right we're, we're, we're making some decent progress i think that's fair to say uh let me know how your harvest is going on if you are watching along as always love to know how it's all coming together uh we should hopefully if i could get another you know another four good clean days good uh dry days with dry starts and like today i can get finished i need the early starts just so i can get a advantage so once i've got the cattle all sorted out in the morning then jump straight onto it and get going haven't really got that of late let's have a walk through this field uh you know as i'm walking through the grass here my uh boots are soaking at the moment so the it's it's taken a long time for the the moisture levels to drop down sufficiently for us to get going uh but it is what it is we we were able to we we probably went a little bit late into the evening last night there so i think by the time we had a tiny little bit left that field i wasn't going to leave a little strip there uh, that crept up to about 16 and a half 17 percent so it was a bit too high for what we need that's gonna have to get mixed in with the, the stuff that was coming in earlier at the day at around 14 and it should balance that out there but we'll see and then hopefully it'll be good and hopefully all we get it's going for a feed anyway there so we we can get away with a little bit more but still it needs to be pretty dry uh been enjoying cotton with the the Kubota though as well it's been pulling our trailers up the hill with effortless ease and it's been yeah it's been a nice machine to be in there so we've got this like i say for a day or two more uh so we should uh make the most of it that's for sure it is certainly very nice on the road very smooth C great cab suspension there very uh, responsive to your your commands so that's fantastic so hopefully you'll we'll enjoy just pulling this thing around i can't imagine it's going to struggle a great deal at all uh, but around we go watch that corner it does tighten up awfully quickly on that junction especially with a long trailer on the back like this okay but yeah we're really just trying to maximize what we can in the morning when it is a bit damp like this when we can't get the combine going there so it's all service up ready to go we'll move it straight as, as soon as we get all of this spread which will only take an hour or two uh we are going to try and get some muck out onto the stubble fields as well we've got a lot up at uh, farm too so we'll be looking to get that put out in the fields up there as well uh, perhaps tomorrow maybe we'll get that done uh but yeah you can do what you can you only do what you can do really so you gotta try and uh battle on uh, let's get this all spread first okay love the color though it's a striking machine it really is see i'm not really sure why they sent me this obviously it's very nice of them uh, i'm not gonna be looking to buy one it's a big thing to get used to but we'll we'll have a play around with it anyway um but yeah it's far too big for my needs there the agri pro and the the tm do a fine job for what i need here but it's still you know it's a sign of a nice uh, relationship and a, a good good customer service that they're sending out these toys here and there um i'm probably sure it's finished on all the buck ranking for the season which is why it's suddenly free uh because i know a lot of contractors will be using this kind of thing and demoing this kind of thing for their next decisions uh but yeah the the, the cost of this must be fairly substantial for uh for anyone really okay and in we go it takes a little bit of getting used to when you're so used to your uh loading these from a different perspective do like the height advantage though that's very good there you go now you drop my camera there that's better okay this load into here what we got left over there about one load maybe we'll try and stick all of that in and then we should be good but yeah really nice vantage point i could feel the power as you're kind of pushing in here so it's you know it would be quite something to have on the daily for doing this kind of uh this work we don't do enough pit silage or any pit silage really so we wouldn't warrant it for that it wouldn't fit into the cattle sheds nor would it fit into the grain shell, I don't think. So, again, it would be... Uh, oh, it looks like we're about full there. Perfect. Let's pump that down a bit. Back ever so slightly. Perfect. Yeah, it would have very limited uses for us, but nonetheless, it's still a, a beautiful machine. And uh, I'm going to park you about there. Jump on out, and then... We'll make a start. Uh, let's lift up the rear board. There she goes. All right, then. 
Uh, now, if I've got this all set up properly there, it'd be nice and straightforward. We're going to start on this side and work our way back across there nice and easily. Uh, and yeah, so this is really going to be us for the day. Uh, like I say, we've still got a... Uh, well, I've got one, two, three, four, five fields of spring barley to get after. As soon as we can get going today, we'll be on with that one there. Uh, yields from the first two fields there weren't too bad. Uh, again, it's more the straw yields that we're concerned about. And as you can see, the straw swaths, whilst wet, they do look pretty good. Uh, we were coming in around about three and a half ton an acre there. Not quite in some spots. And so that's probably a pub yield, but a bit more than anything else. But yeah, we were, I was happy with it. I was okay with it. Uh, that is all under cover at the shed there. Again, we'll see when we get that hauled away. Hopefully soon. Uh, as we look to try and move that. And then, yeah, the straw down here will be staying down here. We'll probably need to take a little bit more back up to farm two as well at some stage. There, just to get us all above board there. But ultimately, we should be good. Um... Uh, I don't think we'll have to buy any more in this year. That should be okay. Uh, pending any disasters, at least. The, the new ground out towards the east is likely where we're going to be going next. Uh, even though we've got ground just over through the trees there, that's not ready to go, unfortunately. That has a... That's on a hill that faces north. So it doesn't get quite as much sun. It certainly doesn't get any of the earlier or later sun there either. So it's a little bit of a disadvantage. Let's just stay away from that. Uh, so it's not drying out anywhere near as quickly there. As a result, the moisture on that is still very high. It's about low 20s at the moment. So we'll leave that. We'll go and jump onto the ground out east, which means a big old uh, shift of the combine and a big cart. So I've actually got someone coming in this afternoon to drive the tractor for me, uh, which will allow me just to kind of chug along with the combine and, and knock out the acres out a little faster there. Because, uh, yeah, we it will really slow down the affairs if I have to uh, do everything myself on that front. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll get going. And we'll see what it's all looking like. This is all just really a very quick update for me because uh, we are busy, busy. And I want to keep going as soon as we can. By the time you come back to us next time, we may not have this Kubota anymore. So this might be the last you see of it. Uh, it's been a great machine, actually. Really can't fault it. Uh, not looking to change out of the green paint. But... And we're going to kind of put this on a little bit thicker uh, in some areas here. And uh, see how that works. Not looking to change out the green paint by any stretch there, but that being said, this was a, a really nice machine to have on, on on our side. So we'll see how it how it kicks on, and we'll be able to you know it's an impressive entry. Kubota will really kind of make some strides in the larger markets there, larger tractor horsepower markets at least. Uh, and you know it's it's an impressive development there. Really wasn't expecting to like it quite as much as I did. Uh, the screen takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you have that under control, once you're familiar with it, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Certainly a little bit more advanced than any of my machines at the moment there, but it's, uh, you know, the 6M probably comes closest to it, and that's obviously a little bit smaller. So, but yeah, all good. All very, very good indeed. Uh, what we'll do right now, like I say, is just keep pushing along, getting all of this uh, spread back into the combine later on there, get that shifted and get cracking on with spring barley. And then hopefully, if everything plays out well there, I'm going to try and get someone to come and do a bit of driving for me just to uh, help carp and speed up the process so we'll see how that goes stay tuned to sftn for more updates as and when i have them uh, but for now we'll leave it here so thank you ever so much for watching i have been frank this has been a very quick update from harvest as we progress through on challenge and value until next time do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you in the next one catch you later